Hi, it's Karen. And Tim, once again. Once again, we're back. I don't know. We don't know how that just happened. You know, technology just, we think we have it down and then Tim doesn't even know what he did differently. But thanks to my tech guy, we're back. We're good. The right way. So welcome to another Facebook Live. And today we are going to be talking about, in particular, this country floral embossing folder. Going to do, we're going to use it a whole bunch of different ways, but keep in mind, a lot of these ideas will work with any embossing folder. So, you know, ideas are ideas are ideas that we use and adapt. But for this folder, it is a new choice, free with the $50 order in celebration. So that will be fun. Okay, much better. Good. So I'm glad people are here. Thanks, you guys, for sharing. Um, I am wearing new clothes today. I got a package from my um, personal shopper in the mail. I don't know if Sally's on here. Sally Anderson, Sally Anderson in, yay. in Missouri, just a good friend. And she oh, she knows I hate to shop and she is so good. So every now and then she'll just send me a surprise in the mail. And I think, how fun. So she sent me a couple shirts like this. And I thought, and, I thought mm -hmm. she sent us a boom box. Yeah, I said it's what's I in the box. I was very disappointed to find yeah, out it was Yeah, clothes. that's right. <laughs> that's, that's right. As if, okay, I put a little note in here. A little something to get you through this chilly winter. Not that you ever get cold. <laughs> and I love it because you guys know Tim is always the one who's freezing. But you know what I love? And, oh, and here's a card, a card from her. And who remembers this set? Back uh, one of the Paisley sets. So how fun. And a triangle cutoff card. And the Paisley. So good. thank you, Sally. We were talking the other day about the Marie Kondo method and not with your clothes. And I just said I'd be in trouble if I had to um, ask my clothes if they spark joy. Because clothing just doesn't generally spark joy. But boy, they spark comfort. And how nice to have comfort and something that's in style. So, 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 comfort so. and joy is the same thing for you. That is true. Comfort is kind of, you know, I guess I could replace that with, with comfort. So anyway, I totally uh, appreciate that. She just... I don't know. She just has a knack for what I would wear, so it's always just so it's always amazing. So thanks, guys. Oh, we have a lot of you here, so that's wonderful. And Mary Ellen says she needs a personal shopper. Oh, I know. You know, I've said that for years. If I ever could, I would just do it because I I walk into a store and I'm totally overwhelmed, and I just don't even try anything on. So I only buy things from thrift stores because um, other than once last year, <laughs> but because um, then I don't feel bad. <laughs> If I end up not liking it, I'm just terrible. But thank you. So it's just so fun. Um, so a couple of announcements before we get started. The winner of this great stamp set from last week. Absolutely love this. And we had a record number of shares. So I want to really thank you guys. It is the absolutely the most helpful thing that you can do for us. So I just totally appreciate this. And uh, yeah, looking nice and in comfort is even better. That's true, Pam. I, you know, something that you can be proud to wear and comfort. Yeah, because I have a lot of comfortable clothes that I wouldn't step out of the house or that I should get rid of. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's all. So the winner is Jamie Johnson Lency. So hopefully you will see this and this will come to you. And now I had to... So we went from winter, and I, you know, I picked this because of all the snow, and there's snow for these trees, and you can never, of course, have enough trees. But now we are really all thinking about spring. So the next one is another of my favorite stamp sets. <laughs> Deb says, how much does it cost to have a personal shopper? I don't really know. Mine just gifts me with these things. So how cool is that? <laughs> so I never, ever know. Just a fun surprise. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so this is wild about flowers. I said, we are just so ready for spring. So I thought we would move from a winter set into spring and keep dreaming. March is not coming in as spring-like as I'd hope, but at least it looks like after a few days it'll be good. This February has been the longest February that I ever can know. A whole lot of you don't like clothes shopping. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> I said, so we share that. <laughs> I, think, I think that that is... Uh, the only good news just so is, fun. The only good news is that February is only, only 28 days long. Oh, but it sure felt longer. Uh, next year, we are going to leave for a month. So, you know, maybe we'll have to pick February. I don't know. This will be fun. So anyway, this is going to be the one I'm going to give out next week. And in case you missed that, we are going to be on twice today. 
We're going to be back on at 6.30 tonight doing 10 questions, 10 cards. And what I'm going to want, I'm going to be talking about what it's like to be, not even to be a demonstrator, but to buy the demonstrator kit, you know, all your questions. So think of your questions. 10 people that ask questions are going to each get one of the cards I make now. So I figured that'd be a good thing. So I'll do this, take pictures so I can put them on the blog, and then we will send them out. So that will be very fun. Tim likes clothes shopping. Guys, says you love clothes shopping and crafts. Now, I like looking at crafts, and I like thrift store shopping, and I like unusual shopping. I think because I don't go to a thrift store expecting, it, it's serendipitous. I, You know, I go into a clothes store only because I need something, and it's like, no, it's terrible. So this will be really fun. Well, Jenny, happy birthday to your daughter. Yeah, I'd rather spend money on crafts too. They bring more joy <laughs> to my life, I will say. Even just dreaming, even if you don't use them, it's the dreaming and the thoughts, you know, it's, um, you know, they th th just brings a lot of pleasure. The other important thing that I did want to announce is uh, the link is up for my next online class and it is going to be strip cards. Do you know I actually went and looked and made sure that that was okay to put because I didn't want to be kicked out of Facebook. <laughs> I thought... Uh, but but it was okay. Other people were calling things strip cards or, or not not necessarily that, but it, uh, strip quilting or stuff. So I thought, okay, then I can call it that. <laughs> yeah, craft stores just um kind of pull us in way more than clothing stores do. <laughs> oh, Mackenzie, you lost most of your stuff in a fire, clothes and everything. That would be really hard. We had a garage fire once and we just lost things in the garage. I just can't even imagine losing everything. Uh, so, when I talk about strip cards, this is one of the cards that we'll be making, but, you know, we don't stop here. So, every time, this is like a weaving card, but we do all kinds of things. I take an idea, and we do some more basic things, and then, uh, you know, more stepped up things. So, we do a wide variety. We meet for three weeks on Facebook. It is an awesome deal. So, I'd love to have you check that out and join us, and then we'd love to see what you make. And I think that's it. <laughs> Okay, um, if Tim comes back. Oh, I better I better put in my number. Today is the last day of February, and I better remind people, because I don't keep these records, and I think there's a few of you on the verge of this. If you place an order for me of at least $50 a month for six months in a row, at the end of that time, you get to pick any item in the catalog up to $30. So you could pick a stamp set or a thinlets die, you know, whatever. And... Um, but I don't keep track of that, so don't look to me. You know, I, organization is not my skill. I am totally on the honor system. But I just know that there have to be a few of you that are, you know, are really close to that. And if you look through your records and you find you're even over that, you just tell me. I did the six months and now I'm two months over for the next. Because I want to make sure you get what you're entitled to. So I thought I better mention that since you're not going to hear from me. So today, so you never don't want to miss a month if you've got four going. You know. <laughs> today is the last day for February and this is the February... Postcode E4ZQHJUS. And with this, it's also the last day to get the hearts card kit of the month for free. Tomorrow starts March 4th, so that means we have a new host code and a new card kit. And I don't have them ready to share, but there'll be one on the up on that heading of the blog, my uh, Facebook page tomorrow. One of the cards will be up there, but it's going to be geared up garage. So these are going to be more masculine cards. So kind of a fun thing for that. So veteran, veterans from Vermont, Texas, 32Q. Okay, <laughs> veterans from Vermont, Texas, <laughs> 32Q. Okay, whatever makes sense. <laughs> um, it does make total sense because Vermont and Texas are the, are the same. So V, F, V, T, X, sweet, okay. 32Q. So Nancy's daughter is opening a thrift store. I used to always think that that'd be a fun thing to do. So good luck to her. That's great. I just, um, I just, you know, even when we travel, it's thrift stores that we always stop at. So it'll be very fun. So remember that. So how cool is that? Okay, we will get started. Oh, Francis, see? Yes, you just send me an email because, of course, I need to send that out for you. Um, so you just email me what you want. So it's all a good deal, and then it just it comes directly to you. I have learned I do not have things come to my house and then send them to you. 
Um, I have enough organizing myself. I'm not organizing anyone else's order. <laughs> so it just comes to you. <laughs> and you know what's really pretty awesome about that, actually? So I'm just going to tell you, I have it come directly to you. And I am totally good if you want to add some things onto it and make it a $50 order and get another benefit. So, you know, you, you, could, you could even do that. So we'll, we'll just talk about it. Okay, so we're going to do a whole bunch of things with this. So this will be fun. Very first thing we're going to do, I'm, later I'm going to actually run some through the folder, but I'm not going to start that way. So the first thing we're going to do is just run it through plain cardstock. Now I am going to take this. Oh, someone's saying congrats on a new baby and I missed whoever that was, but congrats, I'll see that later. This is, you'll see if you go to my online store and click on celebration, the $50 items, these are just new. So there's not a catalog. This is part of, last week I did the really fun folder and that will be on my blog tomorrow. I just have to figure out where I put it so I can finish taking pictures. <laughs> and um, that is, Another free thing, so I'll put these uh, free things on the blog. Um, Tim, I'm gonna have you go get me some glue dots. Oh no, I have some, I have some right here. It, this just goes on quicker for me. Ooh. I love using glue dots, and I'm just gonna put these on. And you know what? I was actually going to put this on first, but since I missed that, I'll put it on under this part. Boy, okay. Boy, run through. Yep. So I'm going to sh just show you how I'm going to finish up this card. She's not listening. I'm not listening. I said, do you guys do that to your spouses or <laughs> whoever you live with? I said, it's just, <laughs> I must say, I, was um, a solution. I am having troubles here because my trusty scissors is gone. I must have used it in a in a pinch, and I have a bunch of them out there, but that's okay. I can keep working. Look at this. I can keep assembling this card without it. I love it. You know, this is a monochromatic card, and you know, you don't always have to do a whole lot of things. I really love quick and simple cards, so I'm going to put this on, and then I love, this is from the Stitch Labels Framelits. There's a stamp set, but I use the Framelits all the time, not necessarily with them. But I is think this is the big? cutest. That'll do. Go ahead. Um, it's a, not a good scissors, but we'll take it. Put that on. I think this is uh, just such a pretty little thing, and it's got all kinds of other cool little labels in here. So I absolutely love this one. And I'll put this on. And of course, this could be any occasion. <laughs> Connie says she got an hearing aid, so now she'll hear everything her man says. I don't know if that'll be good or bad. You'll have to, you know, report in. <laughs> can't, can't, uh, then you have to move to selective hearing. But isn't that just a fun card? And now I made another one just very similar, just to show any colors just work with this. I just think that is just such a great way. The focal point of your card just is the pretty folder. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mary has selective hearing. <laughs> so <laughs> this one is in the celebration. Well, it'll be in the catalog online, but it wasn't in the original celebration thing. I think that's right. Oh, you have these scissors? Well, I've had these for so long. I just think they need to be cleaned. So I don't know how good mine are anymore, but I actually... Uh, Ellie was over helping me on Monday, and she actually put masking tape on my best Stampin' Up! scissors because I said I never know. I keep thinking I'm going to put them back on the thing. So now I know. I'll try to keep those good because I keep using sticky things and all that. So there is idea number one. And here is a good scissor. <laughs> we'll do without. Okay. Then here is another one that's just really fun. Now we're going to go with just plain white. Uh, oh, the first card for a wedding card. Yes, it'd be a, these would be, this would be great wedding cards. You're right. And you could do, these would also be great thank you cards. If you know a bride and you had the color, you know, of her wedding, wouldn't they be great if you were doing the thank you cards to just do a thank you? And they're not, you know, a lot of work. So what I wanted to show about this one, hmm, I'm just dropping things. Okay. So here, I've just done it in white. Uh, this time I'll use this because anything goes. 
because I also love white on white. And this one I did do as a wedding card. And then I'm keeping this one really simple. I'm going to put this on and then just put this on some silver. Put that on and then I would add some, um, a little more bling here. So I'm just gonna put a little bling on the card in a couple of places. We'll go for three. We were deciding last week that you know there's a reason, right, that three is kind of the number. So we're just going to go with three. And then what I added to this was this on the folder. So isn't this pretty good? Now some silver ribbon around here would be really pretty too. You have to realize, I, you know, I, I haven't totally finished all these cards. I was just racing to get all these ideas done and then trying to put something on them. Um, and I'm thinking a little a silver ribbon or something could add. But it's also just fine alone. And I just wanted to show you how you can do this. Can I just say that if you put silver ribbon on there, it was meant to be. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, yes, the meant to be. Thank you for asking. I did bring out the stamp set so I could show you where these things come from. The meant to be is from this. Meant to be. Um, from this set that goes with, you can get as a bundle with the hearts, and I, I use the hearts all the time. But I And I love meant to be as a... A wedding card. I just I think that's really fun. And these are just some pretty, really pretty stamps. And you make me happy. I love that. I love I love our life. I love our life together. Um, I, I do too, my dear. The other one, the happy birthday that I used on these. And again, I just went through my stuff to find something to fit. I knew I wanted to use these, so I did this from all that you are. So you know you can find anything in your stacks, but sometimes I know people ask. So I'm trying to be better about just having them out because if something strikes your fancy that you would do other things with, yeah, I think this is um, a very classy card. So to do the coordinating envelope, this will fit sideways. Let's see. Here. I'm gonna pull this up. I'm gonna use the big shot today, but I'm not gonna use it right now. But I just wanted to show you how this will fit sideways. So you're just going to put this right on the seam there. There, and put that through. Just like that. And you have, yeah, great for sympathy cards too. You're right. Okay. So that goes that idea. And now we're going to look at adding some color. Why don't you do that more often? Oh, because it's one more step. I'm just lucky if you get in the mail, Tim. <laughs> I know, but that is a fun look is. to do yeah. envelopes. There are just so many things we can do to step them up. And, you know, any embossing folder, especially if you used it on the card, you know, it is a really fun um, thing you, you can do with that. Okay, so here's going to be our first card. And with this one, I am just using... Sally, it, you, look at this beautiful sweater and... This is the beautiful sweater without ink on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the before and after? Yes. Oh, we better get a... <laughs> I hope not. Should I put a bib on you? <laughs> I hope not. But um, I love sm sponge daubers. That's what I'm going to use here. So I have my uh, pretty in pink, and I am just lightly sponging over. This is all I am doing. And then I'm going to go to the green, dab a little, and then just go over the green. And, you know, I'm not caring about covering it all or staying in the lines. I'm just kind of going, it's just very much a pastel kind of look here. So how cool is that? Uh, pretty sure she meant the card design, not the sentiment. I don't know what I said. <laughs> wedding invitations could, uh, yeah, all this kind of stuff. I mean, this just speaks weddings to me because there's so much you could do, but how cool is this? And these could all turn out a little differently. And yet they're totally fine. And then the next one, and here you can see I'm I am leaving, I'm leaving this side by side. I did these exactly the same in the layout. I think this is a another just really easy layout to just, you know, add your words like that. And what's also great about this, if you have done, if you've done your folder and you don't like how part of it colored, hey, you can just, you know, that's the part you cut off, right? So <laughs> So in this one, we're going to watercolor. Yeah, I really could be in trouble now with watercolor. 
but I'm only going to put on a couple colors to start here. So I, my favorite way to watercolor is with the ink refills. I just put them on a block and then I get them all over my finger and then I take my my aqua painter and get it wet and then I'm going to just pull out the color and let's here are my notes of what I was going to talk about today so I can test that okay so I'll do that and then I'm just going to paint away and again this is a Uh, you know, not an exact look because watercolor is just kind of a free form. In the watercolor class, somebody was saying when we were doing, we were doing all kinds of messy styles last time, and um, somebody said that that's called loose. So it was nice to nerd. To, to, it was nice to learn an, another name for that technique because I said I, I I like loose. That just kind of you know, it just kind of fits. You know, so I'm just going around like this. And of course, I could go back and add. Here you can see I did go back and add some darker. Here I'm going to just um, leave that. I squeeze this, get it running clear, and then I can go to the next color. And then I can do my, I can do my leaves. Now with watercolor, if you ever get too much on, you can always, you know, see how light that made it. And then you can go back and make it darker wherever you want it. Okay, so that is the next. Oh, this does look like wallpaper from back in the day. Yeah, I yeah, I can see that. There's some others coming. Uh, yeah, I I really I can see that. So that's watercolor. And then another way, and this is actually my favorite way, is to do it with the Stampin' Blends. I like this because you have a little more control over it. It's still not real um, fancy here, Tim. I'm gonna hand you this this. And Tim's going to do a totally different card today, yeah. so you'll have to see what he's doing. Um, we're both excited about the card he's doing. I'm afraid to mess with my sleeves here. But <laughs> so now, what's fun with the blends, and now you can go back and um, shade. You can see I took the darker color right here. On this one, I left them all just totally soft. So on this one, this is the same thing, you know, and what I like is... You can see you have a little control, not not lots, but enough if you're being careful, and I'm not being very careful. It's because I'm doing it for the camera. But however it works out, it just, I think, is a really fun look. And yes, I would sit and color these while Tim watches TV. And then I could take the dark one. <laughs> And then, just see, I could come over here. I could blend them together, or I could just leave. Yeah, maybe you can come over a little bit more here over some of the darks that I already did. So again, this can be, this would be really quick to just kind of do a little wash over all of it. If you want to get really detailed and do all this, that'd be really fun, and it would be slower. So yeah, the blue and yellow, it just looks springy, I think, doesn't it? So, um, so these are three ways to color. Um, to color your cards and I think that they are really fun and now you know I'm giving away most of these cards tonight so I hope you come back at 6 30 and asking me questions about what it's like to be a demonstrator does not mean that you're interested and it, you can already be a demonstrator it is just a fun way to talk to talk and let people know more about what we do I just like to do you know I like to do everything in an interactive fun way and I like to get the, the word out there so that's that's what I do it, but you know, no pressure. Just want to make sure everyone feels welcomed. Yeah, Brenda says, to says Tim, steal your markers while you're calling in front of the TV. Uh-uh. <laughs> Tim never crafts except when he's on the Jeez. when he's on the video. So <laughs> he is told. Let me tell you, he's absorbed in the TV. But actually, he's usually to. giving me a foot rub, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> giving yeah. me tea. So see, that's a that's a deal, and I'm doing something with my hands. So see. I I so see, it works out. I can't think and listen, so I can't read something. If I read a text or something, I don't, I don't hear what's on TV. I can't do both. Yeah, he can't multitask at all. But um, tonight at 6.30 Central Time is the 10 cards, 10 questions. At 7.30, I'm doing a fun thing with my downline online. Somebody's going to win a $50 uh, 
gift card for participating in this challenge we just had. So two different things, but the public one is 6.30 Central Time, so we're and over there. this is the first time we've heard about two of them tonight. I know. Jim says, do we have anything else on today? I said, oh yeah, you're going to be helping me tonight. Going to have you be on for something. But she only made it sound like there was one thing tonight. <laughs> well, Tim, I think we're going to give out your card tonight as one Ooh. of the cards too. So I hope you're gonna be willing to part this with one? it because he hates to make a second. So you're gonna have to take a picture of it and then yes. it'll live forever in your, okay. Next we're taking, you know, foil is just beautiful put in this card. So this is just silver, but all of the different foils would be gorgeous. And I would just layer this. Okay, let's see, I do have things to layer this. So I think I'm, yes, I'm going to layer this. I couldn't remember if I was going to do this or not. As I have all these things in different um, states of readiness, trying to not take up too much time. <laughs> states of readiness. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to put this on. And then this on. And I'd say I missed... I missed one under here, so. Can you tell me why there's this long tail always, you know? Oh. It's usually like three times I know, and then, he, and then he'll, he'll uh, I'm just waiting for him to tear it off and put it in recycling, you know? <laughs> Which makes me feel needed. Hi, Carol, and welcome. You just recruited under Holly. I am so thrilled to have you on here. That is so fun. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna be our first basic card. So to decorate this one, I'm going to use foil, and I'm going to put um, glue dots on the end of this. That's called foil. Oh, uh, vellum. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh. At least I'm paying attention. Oh, and dear me, that is too long. So let me, I'm going to have to cut both of these ends off, even though I hadn't meant to because um, I meant it to go over the side a little bit. But you know, do you know how it is when you stamp? Some of the things in your head turn out and some don't. And we all learn to be adaptable. See, and this will work. And then I will just put a... Bling. A little bling over. Because I don't want to take out and do, you know, the whole long thing that I sh have shown you a few times of how to attach the vellum. But I think this is just a perfect way to attach it. So now this is just plain. Now, let's say, I have another one here, but I wanna go for a different look. So this time, I'm going to take my stays on. Oh, that Grapefruit Grove foil would be gorgeous in this. I'm not showing it because we are sold out. But um, it will be, whoa, guys, I'm even using stays on when I'm dressed in white. So I will not, I will not touch anything about me, okay. So now I am going to rub my stays on. On I'm just going to do the middle since I don't have a thing here. I will not touch anything about me. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I must be careful. Now, how cool is this? This gives it a really um, dirty, dirty look. Yeah, what well, kind of a real age look or something? Yeah, a worn. So here I've done this on a card, and here I'm going to put on the same. This time I'm going to use. Um, dimensionals because I have this bow anyway, so it's already, or this knot, so it's already gonna be a little thicker. But I'm using the same, me oh, and look at, I have it on my hands. I'm gonna have to fix that before I give some on this card. Um, but how fun is that? So that gives a really different look. And then one more way we can do it. I have covered this piece of silver. So I think I can now have you take that. Oh, good. And I am going to put this through. I had to do this early because I wanted to make sure it dried because I don't want this all over my, my pad. Now I'm going to put this in. Hopefully it's all dry. And the part that I want to see the change to, so the part I've decorated is going to go facing up. You want to see the stampin' up right here. Okay, so on to so to use this, I'm using the regular platform, not the magnetic, and then this because it's a thick folder, and then just one plate. So this is the sandwich that's gonna go through. 
I'm going to go through and we're going to see if it does what I hope it's doing because I haven't done this yet. So, you know, if it doesn't turn out, then we say, well, that was an idea, Karen. Yep, that was an idea, Karen. I was hoping more of the silvers can go through. I think I put too much on. Um, but it could be an interesting look. Okay, I'm going to work on that idea. You know, they can't all turn out. I will not give out this card tonight. <laughs> In fact, I won't even finish it. Uh, you know, the stays on, yeah, it dries pretty fast, but you just always, because it's permanent, you just don't want to get in on things. Let's go on to some others that work. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I, I uh, yeah, I agree. I think I put too much more, too much on. Um, but see, I didn't want to, the other inks I'm going to put right on here, I don't want to do that to stays on because it's just too much of a, I don't even know if the stays on remover would take it off. But what we're going to do now is add color here. So I'm going to take, oh, so just alcohol would do it? Well, I guess then I could do it. I was afraid, I don't, you know, I'm just a little more afraid of the stays on. And we do have the stays on cleaner, but I thought, I just didn't. Now, if bourbon, I had two folders, but I couldn't even get two folders, you know, so then I might have risked it. Risked it. Um, but I may still try it and then put it up and I, and I may not, you know, cause life is busy with other things, <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll see. Okay. So what I'm going to do is put my ink on the back side of where it says Stampin' Up. And I am using Gorgeous Grape. And wow. now, okay. And this is really weird. I haven't done this either. I'm going to use That's weird. Mary Merlot on this, okay? Because it's an interesting look to do darks on darks. And I'll show you a couple of colors that I did do. But I thought, you know, we're just going to be daring here and experiment. So this is Gorgeous Grape Ink on Mary Merlot. Ooh, I like it. Now this makes me think of some older wallpaper too. How pretty is this? Oh, okay, I gotta put this up. So, can I wash this? Oh yes, thank you, Tim. Because I'm gonna need it again. He's gonna go wash. Oh, and here I even have a towel to dry it. Uh, so how pretty is this? And I'm gonna show you a couple of more. This is. This is the same gorgeous grape on rich razzleberry. And then I finished one card. This is the gorgeous grape on the Highland Heather. So I think what's really fun about this is they all look really different, but it's the same ink. So this is just an encouragement to experiment with different colors, different papers. Don't just think, oh, I got to even stay in the same color family. Because, you know, this is the one I would think about doing. Mm, but I think one. these are really gorgeous, too. So it's just um, just a fun idea. Um, the old platform, I think it would just be, be one. But, you know, ex experiment and you'll know for sure. Uh, because really, just know it's just one of these and then whatever your plat. So whatever's going to work to have it go through. Um, but I think this is really a fun look. Now, all of this gets really dark. So even if I used a pastel, it gets really dark like this. So what if you want a really light color? So here's the next one I'm doing. Because um, I think this is really pretty when it's just a lighter color. So then, to do a lighter color instead of this darker color... I'm going to use my brayer. And so many different colors would be pretty in this. I just happen to have uh, pretty in pink here. Uh, but I think it's blush, actually, that I have the ink here for. So, um, And then, however, and again, I'm going to do the back of the Stampin' Up. Well, I hope you guys aren't too tired of us today, so you'll come back at 6.30. This will be fun. Oh, look at that. Tim will even hold this. I this sponge brayer goes on so lightly, I'm not even sure. I'm never sure what's on there, but good enough is good enough. That's my motto. <laughs> yeah, no tabs, one cutting plate. That, that um, does sound right. And then I need my, okay, so on this we're going to use white. 
And I'm just gonna plop that in, put it in, and put this one through the folder. Uh, you know, we have a few thicker ones like this, and I really love them all because they really gives you that extra texture. You know, I think this, you know, these flowers, I mean, how fun to have that rich texture in there and then all the different ways to color them. Okay, now look how soft this is. And of course, if I wanted it darker, I could, or, or more, I, would, I could just put more on. It wouldn't be darker, but it would, you know, be more all over. But I kind of liked just that little look there and then just layering that into a card. So, so this was a whole bunch of ideas that are just really different, and I will uh, get them up in my blog. Tim's gonna take pictures right after we do this. So I can do that so we can give these cards out tonight. <laughs> Trudy, you're so sweet. Oh, you guys, so you won't get tired of us. That's so sweet. And now Tim, he's gonna be using the Big Shot, and he needs different, he needs that plate. He's gonna be using something else. So. so. So, let's see what I'm going to be using. Speaking of plates. Remind them of your inspiration here. Karen, I just wanted to say, Karen found some uh, red wing plates in the basement and we're eating off of them. They're beautiful. Um, very retro looking. So last week, earlier this week, was it? Was it Monday? Or last week? I, I don't even remember, but sometime even, recently. <laughs> I shared a gift that we got from our daughter, from Leah, Penze Spice. And I've never been in one of their stores And before. do you know what's fun, Tim? I haven't even read those to you, but we have so many comments from people who use those, oh, really? who know them, and they're out of, out of Wisconsin. Really? And it was just really fun, because we did not know, and other people that have ordered them, but so that's pretty cool. So anyway, this is... This has got four spices in it, five spices in it, and it's got little cards to talk about how each one of them is used. And I just, I like to be random, and so I just kind of say stuff and show stuff that I don't even ask Karen, should I show this? I just do it. <laughs> and Which, I said, Tim, that would make a great card. Yes. So, we will see. Okay. Okay. So we match the colors. We match the colors. Since I'm colorblind, I let Karen do most of the heavy lifting. But isn't that close? Isn't that nice? And she did some of the work for me. And she's going to let me do the rest of it. And this little heart is from the... What am I doing? Uh, yeah, the wood set that has the, the basket. I couldn't remember the name about that, but you can put the heart in on... Sideways? On a sideways oval. Well, it's going to go up and down to fit on the card. <laughs> so it depends on if you want a side a lying down heart or a... Yes. We are, we are <laughs> working out the details as we go. This is weird. You don't, probably don't even see me doing this, but, but I'm... Uh, I'm fearful in what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. Well, the heart almost looks too big for it, but but it'll work. I was going to say there's no resistance. Can I go backwards again? Nah, uh, we'll look at it. I'm sure it's fine. Okay. If not, it's a redo. You know what? I don't think, I don't know if I've ever used the Big Shot before. Is that weird? Oh, maybe you haven't. Uh, look! I think it came through. And then he's using the large letters. And since I don't want to waste anything, I'm probably going to use that too someplace. Evolve. It's evolve. No, it's love. That's right. <laughs> it's backwards. It was a joke. Mm. I can't pick it up. Love. L. O. V. E. 
I told him we'll take a picture of this card with the box, and if Penzi's has a website. Yes, we're gonna. He's just gonna. I'm gonna get some post it, free, post it for them and free say, merchandise. Yes. Yeah, right. He's gonna post it okay. and say you inspired me. <laughs> okay, let's finish this, and I'm gonna have to do it this way. Should I finish it now, or do you want me to do it later? I'm gonna do it now. Either she's reading comments or she's looking over my shoulder. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to read comments through a little far, but I guess I can pull this off and do it. See, I don't remember these things. <laughs> Appleton, Wisconsin, the uh, Pezzies. Oh, Pezzies. <laughs> is it Pezzies? No. Oh, do they call, is that what they call Pen Pezzies? Pezzies. Pen oh, or it could it's, be a spelling thing. P now, I'm, now I'm thinking about those Pez containers. <laughs> <laughs> I just have figured that out. <laughs> Yes, uh, Tim really is colorblind. Um, Why, is there something Yeah, somebody's there? asking, yeah. S especially certain colors, but it's all good. <laughs> Green and red, brown and No, the magnetic black. form is like the regular one with an added thing. But, um, yeah, ask me about that, Francis. I use the magnetic fold with, with thinlets all the time, and now it comes with just the standard plate, and then I use the magnetic form, but, you know, but we can... Uh, Sometimes we should go over all those things, I guess. But I love what do you think? that. I think is that, that is just a gorgeous card. What do you think? My idea would be put on the back and put your name by it. Yes. Like a signature, because then somebody yes. would really like that. Wouldn't That's that be the best? A, doesn't that make sense? I know he does need the silicone pad, Tina. You're right. I forgot to put it out here. Um, little antique table's gonna maybe need a little undo or something, you know, but we'll see. <laughs> Hopefully it'll just rub right off. <laughs> see. Whoops. Made with Love. Love by Tim. Okay, so someone's gonna get that card tonight. That's awesome. We love it. Tim T. Okay. <laughs> Made with Love by Tim T. Now, if I had, is there such a thing? No, I was going to find a, a red, red to make my heart red. But you know, I'll 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 do it another time. Um, where's all of our um, bone folders? I don't know. We got. They, I think they've gotten put in other rooms. So okay. We'll have to do okay. It. Okay, Tim. Thank That's you. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to show one other stamp set on the cards that had the little words. I absolutely love that little punch to punch out. Um, I don't even know if I could find any right here, but I just wanted to, um, well, here we go. Like all these little words, I just love having little word choices and then just use that little punch for words. Sue said Super Tim. Oh. She didn't put a comma in there, so Super Tim or Super Tim? Oh, okay. You know, Tim will take it both ways. So <laughs> he'll take everything. Yeah, it does look like a 60s card, Linda. You're right. It does. It really looks very retro. So um, oh, this is one of my favorite cards he's done. So I think that's awesome. So I just want you to remember about the paper strip coming up at the class, the paper strip class, and the um, and join us tonight at 630. And then, of course, the the freebie set I was going to announce. This one, once again, goes to Jamie Johnson Lunsey. So you're on now. And then this is the one for next week. This is what I do with my retired sets. You know, I just um, like to pass them on to new homes, my retired sets that I haven't used. So thank you, everyone. And we will see you. And remember, it's the last day of February, thankfully, this year. So it's your last day to get in a February order. And tomorrow, there will be, tomorrow you can start buying that new punch. And that is the punch that I was using today on this meant to be, that story label punch. That and a bunch of other thinlets will be for sale. And that'll be on my Facebook page. So it'll be a new month and we've got new things. So that's pretty fun. And we'll see you tonight at 6.30 Central Time. Standard time, not daily time. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Whoops, I just knocked something over. <laughs> Uh, yeah, someone said we should have a little table next to this, but I thought we'd have trouble. We wouldn't get between the sofa and this. It's a little crowded in here. But it I'm, I'm going to work on a...
uh, on a cleaning project this weekend. So, right. So we'll see. Okay. Thanks, guys. See you later. We appreciate you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>